Thank you for listening to Lone Star Community Radio. This program was broadcasted and recorded live from the LSCR studios in downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio is supported by listeners like you. Donate and sponsor today. For more information on getting involved with Lone Star Community Radio, contact us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or visit us online at www.irlonestar.com. Welcome, everybody, to Lone Star Community Radio Audio Impact. I am your host, Alex Lozano, and we have in the studio We Are Stories. But before we get started with them, we have our shows that we recommend in and around Conroe and the Houston area. Let's go ahead and get that started. Uh, tonight, Thursday night, uh, you guys might have heard of these guys, Las Lobos at the Houston Heights Theater, very famous venue there in downtown Houston. That show is at 8 o'clock. And then we have country singer Carson Jeffrey over at Rowdy's. It's a country bar right here in Spring, Texas, where eggs and trucks are cheaper. And then we have... Hooch and the Electric Revolution at Cross Tracks Ice House, also in Spring, Texas. And a show that I'm really, really excited for is our own We Are Stories is playing at the 19th hole along with Fat Cat, uh, the Delaney Brothers, and Envy Room at the 19th hole. That uh, do believe uh, doors open at 8. And then we have Bon Jovi and Poison Tribute Bands at the world-famous Wildcatter Saloon in Katy, Texas. Also Saturday at the historic Numbers Nightclub, they're celebrating their 46th anniversary of being Numbers. Weird, trippy, you name it. I saw um, Dimebag with Damage Plan uh, two weeks before he got killed there at Numbers. So it brings back pretty bad and good memories. And also, too, uh, if you love uh, progressive music beat the music of king crimson at bayou music center at 8 p.m and then we're going to end this uh show that's going on in galveston it's not really a music show but i think it's very newsworthy it's one of the largest uh it's the galveston sandcastle festival and competition they get a bunch of engineers has anybody ever been seen that before well engineers architects i mean they like out of this world gigantic sand sculptures that are just amazing well guys we're back with we are stories and they're going to play uh, seven songs for us i had a chance my buddy uh, brandon nathaniel uh, with the band bashook they're no longer together but he's an amazing singer songwriter he did a showcase uh, a few months ago and i ran across these young gentlemen and and they were really good and I really enjoyed their music and so did my girlfriend, so that's always a, a, a good thing, too, when she likes the music, too. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, Brandon, uh, big-time shout-out to you uh, because uh, I might not have met this band um, as soon as I did. So, guys, without further ado, um, let's check out some We Are Stories. Hey, thanks thanks for having us. My really pleasure. Uh, first song we're going to play is called Never Let Me Go. You know, it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of a song about love gone wrong, maybe relationship, somebody's trying to push you to be one way, something that you're just not. Right. And so it's kind of talks about that right. a little bit. Yeah. Good.
Emotions come out, yeah. yeah. Just so you guys know, they've never played acoustic set before, and I challenged Brandon and the band to do this. So, just in case y'all know that now, we did it special for you, man. Thanks, guys. Uh, this so this next song is kind of interesting. Uh, I think it's good. This is a song called Tracy, and uh, you know, I've been kicking around Houston and Texas playing music a long time. I actually wrote this song when I was really young, uh, and uh, an ex girlfriend. Well, no, it's more like a, you know, a bunch of ex-girlfriends oh. composited into right. one, one In character. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, so it's, a, it's, you know, pretty old song, but, you know, we worked it up and revived it in a completely different way. And now we really dig it. Gave it life. <laughs> Gave it life, exactly. There'll be, I feel there'll be more acoustic shows <laughs> in y'all's near future. Maybe, maybe so. All right. Let's see. Yes. 
<laughs> different on acoustic for sure. Different on acoustic. Oh, yeah. Different perspective. Yeah. Wow. Well, this one's going to be interesting uh, because uh, uh -oh. we have the bass being replaced today uh, due to guitar bass. Not <laughs> guitar <laughs> bass. <laughs> Technical <laughs> difficulties. So um, this will be interesting. Yeah. Uh, this one's called Fool for Loving You. Uh, this is just kind of a straight up love song. Right. You know.
<laughs> oh yeah. Infectious groove. Wow. Hearing these, hearing it this way, uh, you got to hear it when we play electric. Like these two, they carry that song big time. Didn't y'all play that at the? the, the we, show? Did, we did. Yeah. We did. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. I, I, you know, even though there's a few moons back, I, I still remember. <laughs> but I can hear the the difference. It's, it's like y'all just bringing everything down. Mm -hmm. just it's a whole nother dynamic. Um, well, what's the name of this tune here? This one's called. Uh, this one's called "In the End." In the end. <laughs> that is a long running joke. Revelation. <laughs> um, oh, nothing. No, it's, no not, uh, not that bad. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a theme going on here. Uh, yeah. So this this song is also kind of about another aspect of relationships when uh, you know you think. You think somebody's like, you know, like a noose around your neck sometimes, yeah. but then uh, Run. then you realize uh, they they weren't really that at all. Yeah. They, they really had your best interest at heart. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So. Never assume anything. Right. Yeah. So that's kind of what this song's about. Cool. one <clears throat> such chill songs and just real atmospheric you know just kind of real just real real pleasant easy on the ears 
Cool, man. Appreciate Good that. stuff, man. Yeah, definitely appreciate it. And, you know, we tried, we tried working up something different for yeah. the sound for, for today. Wow. Um, uh, this song is actually different. <laughs> How about love? No! Of, well, kind of, but not really. No, uh, family love. This song's called this song's called Family, right? And uh, really, this song is just about being a tight knit family. It might be with your actual family. That's the name of the be, song, Family. Yeah, it's called Family. family. It might la, be with la, your actual family. It might be with friends. Our, who our, are family. Our, our for all the Hispanic, la familia. La familia. La familia. Bueno. Uh, vatos locos forever, homes. No. But uh, <laughs> so that's you know this song's just about sticking together. You know, uh, whether it's your friends or your family. Or, Real family, family. Sometimes things are tough, difficult, but if you stick together, you know, those are the people you want on your Blood side. Blood's thicker than water, right? they say. All right.
nothing holds us close is impossible to hide. If the problem comes, take a step of power. We'll fight together on and on. How many more songs uh, do we uh, have? Do you guys have two, two more? Two Excellent. Is that good? What's that? Is that good? Yeah, no, it sounds great. No. Mm -hmm. Two more. Two more. Good. Uh, oh. Yeah, you got to stretch those legs out a little bit there on that that gym bay, the cajon. The cajon, right? Yep. The cajons. Yep. And I'm the oldest member of the band. Right. <laughs> Doesn't look it. A you don't look at him. Yeah, yeah. I know. He, I know he runs ten miles a week minimum. Yeah, I right. Tell. He puts us all to shame. All right. Uh, this next song is called "Sentimental Dreaming," and yeah, funky title. But basically, this song is just about growing up, people of our age group. Right. <laughs> uh, maybe uh. just a nod to my <laughs> nod to adolescence. You know. Right. Uh, 13 to 17. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I get there you it. Yeah. So, uh, here we go. Stars. We 
Another good song. Just, just they've all been really good and good that one's songs. pretty different. Uh, electric. It's kind of hard to translate it to acoustic, <laughs> but we wanted to. So, yeah. Sounds good though. Oh, I got and this, I do believe, is the last song. This is the last one. Yes. The last uh, in line. So Lucky this, number the seven. <laughs> this is a handbreaker for, uh, for Brandon. Especially That's on what we say, just oh, the last. Yeah. <laughs> right. let's, let's, let's so this song's uh, called Olivia. Uh, this is actually written with uh, uh, the guitarist previous to Brandon mm -hmm. uh, in our group. Um, an ode to kind of his daughter and just relationship, parent-child sure. kind of thing. Uh, Ernest Garcia, great guy. So, sure. Uh, okay.
Wow. Thanks. Number seven. That might be my favorite one. Thank you. Cool. What a, what a, what a great song. All the intricate picking and stuff. Just Brandon, fan, amazing. Fan, fantastic guy. <laughs> I know it's like his hands paying the price for oh, it now. It's hurting. Especially it's hurting. on acoustic. <laughs> Everyone, uh, we're going to take a short break, and then we will be right back with the interview portion with Fernan Lopez. Fernie. Fernan Lopez, Brandon Hatcher, Jeff Barnum, and Craig Brumfield. Man, I did okay Nailed with that. We'll, we'll, we'll be right back with the interview portion of the show, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. We'll be right back. Car Enthusiast of Conroe, FM 104.5 and 106.1 Lone Star Community Radio invites you to shift into gear every Monday from 1 to 2 with Cruising Car Club Talk with Robert and Randy for news on all things automotive in the greater Houston Conroe area. Can't make a live show? We've got you covered. You can find all of our uncut content including full episodes on Spotify, iTunes, Play Store, YouTube, Facebook, and IRLoneStar.com. Again, that's Mondays 1 to 2, Cruising Car Club Talk with Robert and Randy. See you there. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Texas Songwriters Alliance Audio Impact on Lone Star Community Radio. And we are uh, at the interview portion of our show, and we have the great original band, We Are Stories. And I am, uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves and just go down the line, the instruments you play, and then I have some loaded questions and a few little off to see what you guys are up to. Uh, cool, I'll start. Uh, my name is Fernie Lopez, it's a nickname. Um, uh, I sing and I play rhythm guitar mostly. He sings really well, <laughs> too. And he writes the songs. <laughs> that right. makes the whole world sing. You know, I Barry love, Manilow. I, I, like, I, like I love Barry, Barry. Manilow. <laughs> too. Let's not go, we're gonna be a whole show of Barry. <laughs> Uh, my name is Jeff Barnum. I play the bass, and today I played the uh, acoustic guitar with a pick as a bass for the first time. And, and you kicked ass at it, by the way. I don't know. But yeah, thanks. No, I'm, I'm gonna. It sounded good. <laughs> Next time, bring your amp. Let's listen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having us. I'm Brandon Hatcher, uh, lead guitar, rhythm guitar, and a little bit of backing vocals. Soon to be more. Yeah, soon to be more. Yes. Uh, Brandon is the one I was corresponding with when I saw this band play for the first time. They opened up for a local band that used to be together uh, called Bushook. Uh, big shout out to Brandon Nathaniel. Big shout out. But uh, yeah, big and time Bushook shout out to you. And Bushook is on the way back. And Bushook is on its way back. Are they gonna? Uh, are they, is it gonna keep that name, or is that guy gonna try to pull it, or are they gonna I have believe, a different band name? I believe he's keeping the name. I you think know. it was great. They were really off to making a bunch of stuff. He's just a fantastic, extraordinary. I discovered him personally over at the open mic over at Concert Pub North. And I think that's where I saw y'all. I think y'all played that's up. Where yeah. Yeah. That's where we met. That's where we met, yeah, as, we met yeah. as well. You know, and I was like, and, uh, and you saw my weird little band, Acoustic Halo, mm -hmm. and we were all just having a good time up there supporting the local music scene. Um, I have a, a few questions. I, I might as well just start. Oh, my bad. I just completely... It's always the drummer. My bad. My bad. We're ready to go. That's an attention deficit disorder. I apologize. It's all on me. Hi, my name's Craig Brumfield. I'm the drummer and percussionist for We Are Stories. And he's very, very good on that cajon. He's good very solid. Thank you. Um, when did you start playing guitar? And who influenced you? And I'll just boom, 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 boom down the line. Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, I guess I started playing guitar. Uh, maybe like I had a little Spanish guitar my dad had bought me maybe when I was like 10 or something. And I kind of ignored it. But then pretty soon after, I started trying to write my own songs. Right. Like that's what I wanted to yeah. do. And then I'm like, oh. I better learn an instrument. <laughs> was it so that I went it, back on it? Was it mom or dad who was the biggest of all, or was it both of them combined, or was it an uncle or an aunt? Or I mean, who you know that gave you that first little <laughs> taste? But said, "Here's the acoustic guitar, son." And so I, I would have to credit uh, pretty much all my family, but I, I would have to credit my dad first because he uh, he, he always loved guitar? music. He yeah. had a, uh, an organ in the house and he used to love to play it right. and uh and then you know they used to my mom and dad loved listening to music i need somebody to jam with son here's you know? the guitar but but both of my sisters i you know uh also they always influenced me with a bunch of albums and different music styles you know mm -hmm. growing up um 
and I got my first electric probably when I was like 13 or 14. You know, it was like a Les Paul copy. Right. You know, and um, I don't know. Influences, I, they're all over the place, you know. I mean, guitar-wise, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I had I had a poster of Ace Freely on my wall at one time. I had a poster of Eddie Van Halen on my wall. I had a poster of Stevie Ray Vaughan on my wall. Right. <laughs> you know. Uh, all so worthy. I, all worthy. Uh, David Gilmore is a, a big influence. Genius. You know, uh, so I'll leave it at that. <laughs> and now to... The bass ninja, yeah, <clears throat> the acoustic uh, acoustic guitar bass ninja. Yeah, I've only been playing bass for like four or five years. Um, oh, wow, I, I played trumpet in high school and college, um, and then uh, wanted to do something with my daughter, who is a very very talented musician, and she's she was great. doing the school of rock program, and I was like, well, Dad, maybe keep if, up. Yeah, uh, no, I can't. She's <laughs> way better <laughs> at all things. Uh, so she's definitely an inspiration for me, and uh, it's it's amazing that I get that opportunity to play with her and Brandon and my other cover band that you mentioned before, Fat Cat. Um, and so I do this with the We Are Stories, and then and then do that. So um, as far as influences musically, I the Beatles for me has always been like every time I learn a Beatles Standard. song. Standard. I learned something right. Right, that I can apply to either original music. Yeah, George Harrison was a musical genius, no doubt. Yeah, Paul McCartney's bass lines, you know, it started out really simple, and then it kind of evolved, and that's kind of where I'm hoping to do, you know, like with what I what mean, I'm for doing. me, for me, I always thought that, and I love the Beatles too, just select tracks, you know, some songs more than others. But you think back in the early 60s or when mid-60s when the Beatles, start, was it about the mid-60s or the late 60s? I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah. but you would think, oh, as big as they got, the Beatles, the be- Bugs, you know, it's like, I, it always just kind of like, the Beatles, you know, it's like Pink Floyd, all these crazy, Def Leppard, I remember when... Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, <laughs> or, or, or when I remember somebody, I think it was Bruce Springsteen, who He's awesome. uh, saw uh, Bon Jovi, and, you know, it was like, They're awesome. the story was like, I don't think these guys are going to make it, 100 million records <laughs> later, so... You know, there's always going to be somebody who loves or likes your music. Brandon, let's hear your story. Don't let the shirt influence you. Yeah. yeah. No, not at all. Uh, I've been playing guitar since I was about 14. Uh, nobody really played music in my family, so the inspiration that got me into it was actually a boyfriend of my sister's. He was a bass guitarist in a band called Joe Jitsu. Oh, cool, and, man. Uh, you know, I saw all the girls flocking around him. Like, well, cool. So I was like, well, you know, yeah, I want to do that. Emulate that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the funny thing, though, is whenever you talk about uh, inspiration as like for guitarists, I always get funny looks whenever I answer this question. And it's because uh, it's a guitarist by the name of Jim West. And if anybody doesn't know who Jim West is, it's actually the guitarist for Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, wow. Uh, he can play anything and everything. Probably would, a studio player. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he's great. He can play literally everything. And I would catch myself when I got my first guitar right. sitting in my room playing along to Weird Al Records. And wow. so, that's yeah, that's, cool. that's where it started for me. Right, and that's right. cool. Here I am. Weird Al. You've yeah. come a long way. A long way. <laughs> and you, Mr. <laughs> Drummer Percussionist. And we're, we're going to let you have three extra minutes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because I did a party foul on you, Alex. Well, I can remember the the first thing that, that influenced me the most was probably sixth grade in recess in a Catholic school when one of my friends, Scott Jennings, brought in the Kiss Alive album. And he op- I opened it up and I looked at this thing and I looked at, the, at Paul and Jean and Peter and I said, that's what I want to do. I haven't heard a note yet. That's my favorite band, and I'm a drummer. And from then on, it was just, it was, you know, like every other drummer, hitting pots and pans until I got my first drum kit at probably nine, ten years old, and um, been going ever since. I, I like that story because cool. Peter Chris, that was the only time they won a Grammy in 1977 mm-hmm. for Beth, and he sang the lead in that. And I was like, Cool. They got a little street credit now, you know, on top of the gajillions Gene Simmons. Yeah. I think I think they have the world record for more everything kiss, underwear, jukebox, keychains. <laughs> They're marketing Gene marketing Simmons's. geniuses, yes. Yeah. Yes. No, no doubt. I I yeah. I didn't the first time I saw him, I saw him um once with their makeup, uh late seventies, and then I saw him without. And man, you want to see him with your makeup. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. nothing to get this. Whoa, what's that band? Oh, it's Kiss yeah. without makeup. It's no, it's <laughs> just not not the same, man. So and Peter gets a lot of 
you know, he, he probably wasn't the most talented drummer in Kiss, but he created some of the most iconic drum lines that he did. That Detroit are, Rock City. Exactly. I mean, could, that, that's a whole show we could be here. And we don't have that kind of time. Um, so how long have you guys been t together? Just about, I know y'all, uh, he's the newest addition. I don't know. What's Craig and I were the first to meet, and uh, it's been a It's journey. been about five years. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and we were together, and then looking for people, and then never found, and then we found some, and then switched out, and then, uh, then you know, we, we found uh, a guitarist named Ernest Garcia, a really cool guy. We played with him for a long time. Uh, we found Jeff. Jeff found us, <laughs> uh, really. And um, we were like, yeah, well, absolutely, come play. You know? and, and that worked out great. And then Ernest and, and uh, the three of us and Ernest parted ways. Uh, you know, he, he went on to do some other stuff, and we were going to do our thing. And, yeah. and, uh, and we found Brandon, and, uh, and that was like, you know, it clicked, you know. And uh, the so rest is we are stories history. <laughs> the, West, right. the rest is our history, yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, the thing is, you know, my thing is like, you got to get along with people that you play it's with. I mean, good. I've been in so many bands over the years yeah. that uh, right. all of us, you know, for the most part. And yeah. uh, I mean, if you don't really just like kind of click and just get along as people, just right. you know, on on that level, sure, it's and, you know, it's bound to just right. And if you're in a band out. like Jane's Addiction, you got to <laughs> oh, watch <yeah>. yourself. <laughs> did you guys see he, what happened he, with that? He was no, trying to not. beat up his guitar player oh. right there on stage. Had to cancel he had the show. Dave uh, Navarro on stage punched him. Was that, that. The, wasn't Holy that God. the Houston show too? No, it was not the Houston show. I think it was. <laughs> Boston, uh, but yeah, oh, yeah. they uh, they have since canceled their <laughs> tour. I mean, he went at him and I forgot his medicine. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's just like you know, you look at like somebody like the Beatles or the Stones or all these bands who have been around forever. I mean, yeah, part of that might be the machine, you know, because they've been doing it so long, but. A lot of those bands, you two, other bands, like they just they generally like each other. Def Leppard, I mean, yeah, they've been together so long because like one rock star they, hanging out they're with friends, you know, right. and so they like you know, so that's you know that's how you kind of keep a band together. Dude, thank you for buying <laughs> me that Ferrari for my birthday, mm -hmm. home. I got you a Lambo this time, you know. It's like, <laughs> well, wouldn't that be I'm nice? waiting. That's what I always tell the bands that I work with. Let's look, man. If you guys ever make it, I just want <laughs> one thing. And of course, they always think it's one thing. I always tell them no. I want access to the beach house, full Humvee, <laughs> your Sub Zero filled all the way with all my favorite stuff, and we're cool. And that's it. You make it. Uh, a band you want to check out that's coming close. They're the most popular band that I've worked with, but get a chance mm -hmm. to check out this band. You might not be into their music, but these guys really do make uh, good bands look bad. They're called mm -hmm. Nothing More out of San Antonio, and they're like a progressive rock band and just. You know, people they they when when I see them in concert, every everybody like sings the whole album, whatever they want their people to sing. I think I told you it's like a Children of the Corn kind of the way they just hypnotize everybody. You know, just mind blowing. I'm like I'm, yeah. I'm I'm I love checking out you know yeah. new bands around town and stuff and, and listening to music and checking out what they got out. You know, I, I've become a fan of many, many bands that I've heard over just like the last year. You know? uh, with that being said, I want to remind everybody, this Friday night, um, uh, tomorrow night, these guys are going to be tearing up. And I believe you guys are opening up the show. We are. Correct? We are stories at the, ninth, at the 19th hole up in the Woodlands. The show. What time do you guys uh, go on? I guess probably around 9 or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have Fat Cat, which is y'all's... Uh, cover band Correct. and then we also have the delaney brothers and envy room at the 19th hole guys check this band out they're really good i know you heard them acoustically and it's like uh it's like we are stories light beer compared to their electric show their electric show is uh uh it's very good a lot of emotional content you know that's one of my favorite things to say and uh just a really really great band um uh, before we go, let's each one of you uh, do a shout out to the handful, you know, short handful of people that you know put you here. We are, you know, God, and tell well, us who you appreciate for you being here. Uh, first, I would just shout out to all my all my family. You know, my mother, my father, my sisters, 
you know, covering, everybody, covering everybody the whole the family, thing. My nephews, all over the country, all over the world. Right. That's, uh, that's a good for, one. That's for a good sure. answer. Uh, you know, my wife. You know, she's she's always been a big supporter. Uh, my son. You know, uh, these guys. I mean, you know, honestly, your brothers. Yeah. And you, who are you thankful for and would like to thank out, shout out? Yeah, I mean, thanks thanks to the family. The wife, for sure. She uh, lets me spend like five hours every weekend practicing with these guys and the, right, other, right. And the other band. Happy and wife, then, happy um, life. Definitely, I mentioned my daughter before. Right. Her. She, she's you get to jam with her now. the end of this, and now she's stuck with me. So, yeah, right. <laughs> Dad, you need to work on your chops, Dad. I'm like, you know, going to a whole other level, Pops. I hope she, she'll, she, she does. So, yeah. yeah. That's it. And you, and he did a fantastic job. He had to didn't bring the acoustic bass and he killed it on the electric guitar bass line. I think he only played the two top strings and he killed it. No, it sounded great. I mean Thanks. The microphones come out Friday. Night. Night. Come out It'll Friday. He'll do yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Come out. Come out. Yeah, come out for the whole We're, full blown electric show. We are still. No, we'll, we'll hide his bass. So we'll <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sing the bass lines. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what Dick said earlier. He's like, you can, can't you like, you know, hum the bass lines? <laughs> Brandon, who do you get thankful for? And uh, quite a few people. Well, uh, I'd like to thank my wife. Uh, she's always been the drive for me, even on days where I'm not feeling it. She you're gets rock. me up. Yeah, she, she, no, go out there, do your thing. You know, once you're there, you'll love it. Uh, and my, I have a six year old and an eight year old, and they're my biggest fans because yeah. I'll be riding in the car listening to a playback of a practice session. And there they are in the back seat singing along with the songs, and it's a, just a really good That's feeling. A sense of pride. Yeah, cool. Your chest is like it's a it's a really good feeling. Yeah, it, Dad, you're a rock star. Push you up for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was excited when my son uh, came to see. He came to see us for the first time, and he was like, "Wow, you guys are really good." <laughs> right. He was like, "Y'all don't <laughs> suck, Dad. Y'all are pretty good." He was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get some extra good for your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Now you guys are a really, really good band. Good, good songwriting. Great oh, musicians. Thanks. And uh, what about you? Oh, who do you thank you for? Well, I would definitely like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I definitely would like to um, give a shout out to my wife, um, who's been definitely supporting me through my whole career, the last twenty years in music. Um, and as well as my family for giving me drum lessons way back in the day. So, yeah, definitely, definitely those three. It's awesome. Family's everything. Like we were talking about La Familia. Oh, and, you know, this will all carry over once we start the Battle of the Band Bowling League <laughs> Tournament of Championships sponsored by Lone Star Community Radio. So it'll all be about the I'm ready. master Dick over here tells us what we need to do. No, but a uh, great idea, actually. And, yeah, you guys are really awesome. Um, thank you for having us. We're, oh, yeah, no, it's, it's a total pleasure meeting you guys. Uh, y'all carry yourselves very well. And I've been doing this for 30 years, and uh, it's a very thankless uh, job. But when I get to hear the people express their music, and like like Dick will tell me, Alex, you're getting into the show. You're get back on the mic. Because I do. I get, I get so into it because I'm... Um, you know, there was a time when I didn't think I was a musician until all my buddies come up to, dude, what are you doing? That's weird. You're outer space. What the? I don't know. I think you're playing an A minor seventh, fifth diminished eighth. I'm like, <laughs> what did you call me? I don't. I have no theory at all. I just I, I play what I feel, and to be able to play on the same stage with guys of y'all's caliber, and and the guys, my rhythm section. I mean, I'm just I'm 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 honored uh, to be here, and that's one of the reasons why. I do this and drive up here each week because I get to work with kick-ass guys that carry themselves, that uh, have a sense of self-humility. And in this industry, there's not a lot of that. Mm. You know, it's me, 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 I don't know, no, no. When it, when it should be, you know, uh, I always like to use the quote by Stephen Covey, uh, the seven highly effective habits of successful people. Uh, he passed away not too long ago. We were just talking about it on the Cindy uh, Cochran show right before this one. It's not my way. It's not your way. It's a higher way. I'd like a we, better way. I'd like to get on her show. Yeah, well, she she would love to have you guys on there to get a get a hold of her. We're we're all coming together and going to hopefully be doing a bunch of really cool uh, music events, guys. We're going to be wrapping up uh, this show. 
Um, I can't thank you enough for being on here. You guys are class acts. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward. I, I feel like we're, it's the beginning of a, a new friendship. You know, there's different levels of friendship. You know, there's a, I, I me, myself, I, I have a, a caliber. Like, when he first meets you, 22 long, maybe. But once you get to know me, I'll take a 50 caliber depleted uranium. You know, and he goes, there I don't know what that means. Word, well, people throw the word friendship around too light. I know what he means. I'm into guns. Yeah, yeah, right on. <laughs> <laughs> totally right the same metaphor. But yeah, guys, be sure to check these guys out uh, tomorrow night, Friday night at the 19th hole. Uh, once again, along with Fat Cat, they're going to be doing a bunch of hit songs and uh, the Delaney Brothers and Envy Room at the 19th hole. Uh, also, don't forget that Lone Star Community Radio is a nonprofit, and we take all the donations. It takes a lot to keep this going, and we really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. Until next week, um, we will see you, and that will be my good friend Joe Kane on next week's show. Until next week, guys, we really appreciate you all. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless everyone. Thank you.